I'm sorry. Hello, I'm Nikki Limo. Welcome back to my channel. So back in November, it was my birthday. Thank you, thank you. I was born. If you missed it and didn't wish me a happy birthday, that's fucked up. It's just really messed up of you. I noticed a lot of YouTubers posting 30 things I learned in 30 years when they turn 30. If no one hears you turn 30, did you? This is a question for thought. That You don't have to answer that, you can just think about it. Here's all the things I learned in 30 years so you don't have to, even though I'm only 24. Put the gin in the tonic and I mix it all up. I got some. Okay. Nobody knows what they're doing. Nobody. But the biggest bullshitter will win. People that tell you that they know what they're doing just believe their own bullshit. It's kind of fun when you know that. I've found that most people just want to do a good job. T-shirt plug. People cannot like you because you suck and you should be open-minded to criticism, but people can also not like you for reasons that they've projected their own insecurities or the fact that you have way too much anime. Stop it. People like to be listened to, okay? If you can actually learn to listen to people, like really listen and hear them, you'll develop a deep understanding and compassion for all walks of life, even if you don't personally agree with them. And hey, that's beautiful. Are you looking at my highlighter? People like to feel like they're part of something bigger than themselves like they can achieve more that way, which can be really great or terribly awful depending on the group's loudest voice. For example, see Buddhism and then also see the KKK. You should learn how to do one cool thing like really well so you have something to talk about with people, but don't talk about it too much because then that's also boring and people will get sick of you. Keep it a mystery. So it's like, whoa, I didn't know you could do that. That's cool. Never judge somebody for their skin color, gender, sexual orientation, age, or social class. Judge them by what music they listen to. Like just the first song that comes up on shuffle, make a snap judgment and just go with it. Let's get out of this town, baby, we're on fire. Judge away, fuck. Don't assume people are pregnant, ever. Seriously, I'm not pregnant. It just makes me feel fat when you comment that. When it comes to relationships, you shouldn't settle on someone who doesn't respect you, admire you, and love you unconditionally. You also shouldn't settle on someone who collects human hairs or has large anime collections. Seriously, it's a lot. If you think that good sex isn't real and it's just a concept based on a personal opinion and a fluttering sense of being with someone new, keep going until you find the kind of sex that makes you go, whoa, this shit is real. It's not just a concept based on personal opinion and the fluttering sense of being with someone new. It's freaking real. Find that and don't let it go. Have at least one terrible relationship so that you can recognize and appreciate when a good one comes along. But don't have too many terrible relationships. That's sad. Learn and grow from bad things. Confidence is really attractive. You can be unconventionally attractive, but when you own your shit, it's sexy as hell. Also, don't tell anyone that they're unconventionally attractive. It only hurts their feelings for some reason. I think divorce rates are high because people marry people that they don't actually like hanging out with. Marry someone that you actually like hanging out with. Or don't get married. That's totally okay too. If you write down exactly what you want, you will know exactly when you find it. I think half the reason people don't get what they want is because they don't actually know what they're looking for. Hey, stop what you're doing. Put away 50% of everything that you're making an income and learn how to invest it immediately. There is no security, there is no future. You are the future. You have to make things happen for you. Be scared. Money isn't everything. Unless you don't have money, then it fucking blows, dude. Just stop telling people that money isn't everything. You don't know their life. Isn't it weird that most of the money we make, we never actually hold in our hands? Like we don't carry it around anymore. It's just numbers that fluctuate in an imaginary place that we can only see on a computer screen. We don't actually tangibly hold it. Don't think about it too much. I think taxes are a conspiracy. I can't say much more about that or they'll find me. Do spend your money on traveling. See as much of the world as you can, except for the really dangerous parts. Don't, maybe not so much there. But the perspective that you gain from visiting foreign places and seeing how other cultures worth is priceless. 
do it. Seriously, do it. But not like maybe like the drug cartel areas. But, like don't get there. Here's what I think about school. Stay in school as long as you have to. Okay, no more, no less. But do commit to never stop learning. If you love what you do and you do what you love, you'll never work a day in your life. But if you have to do something that you hate forever, at least make sure you're making hella money from it. Don't sell your soul for cheap meter maids. I'm looking at you. What are you doing? It's making people's days bad. Get paid more money for that. If you don't know what you want to do as a career yet, Learn code. Like, oh my God, get a STEM job. That is my backup plan. Either that or the person that names nail polish colors. I feel like I'd be really good at that too. If you get lost choosing a career, focus on service. What do people need more of? Do that. Unless we reach like an apocalypse situation where we're all surviving on human flesh and like the only thing people need more of is more human flesh then that's more of a moral decision and I can't weigh in on that because I've never been there, but I'm not judging. I think you should judge on whether or not you should do something based on whether you'd regret it if you got to the end of your life and didn't do it. I make all of my decisions based on me being on my deathbed, looking back on me making that decision. And I gotta say, a lot of times I really upset future almost dead me. You're never gonna be ready. Go live life, you dummy. Choose to be around people and things that inspire you. Otherwise, life can be a black hole with no ending. Meditating can seem like a waste of time if you're a person that values productivity, but it's not, I've learned. It kind of like warps time to make you have more time for productivity. But it's also really hard and it makes you feel dumb at first. But you should still do it. Definitely learn to meditate even if you suck at it. There is no sucking in meditation, how about that? It's weird, it's a weird activity. You should take vitamins. Like really, you should listen to your parents and take vitamins. Like now, you should go now. Sometimes it can feel like life is made up of a few really cool events and then a bunch of time in between them. I think we should focus less on getting to the next cool event and more on making the time in between a cool event that we also appreciate. Because then, then you like your life. The next time you have an anxiety episode or you're really depressed or you get in a fight with your boyfriend or you say something really embarrassing and like borderline racist, how could you say something like that? Being drunk is not an excuse, Tina. Just remember the universe is a hologram and none of this is real. I hope you enjoyed that. Those were 30 things that I learned in 30 years. I am pretty sure I learned more things than that. I just don't have them off the top of my head or written down anywhere on a paper or written down anywhere on a computer, which is the modern version of the paper. Let me know how you like this video. Leave me a comment. Let me know what's the biggest thing that you've learned in your short time on this tiny planet floating through a vast broad thing of space that we're in a vacuum. What is it? What is this? What are we? You don't know. None of us know. And that's why it's fun because we're all operating in some made up board game of rules that have been around for so long that we don't even question them. We just do it. What is, why? What, who, can we change? We can never change it because we are powerless. Subscribe so you don't miss any of this. I'll see you next time. Bye. Oh, 